President Rodrigo Duterte toughened his walls versus criticisms and he also upped his arsenal against his opponents. If Senator Leila de Lima or Laila de Lima was Duterte's pet peeve in his first year in office, on his second year, he seemed to have trained his sights on then Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno. Sereno has repeatedly accused Duterte of masterminding her ouster from the Supreme Court. And maybe she had a reason to believe so, especially when it's the president himself who calls you his nemesis. I'm putting you on notice that uh, I am now your enemy. And you have to be out of the Supreme Court. And another Aquino appointee that the president is not really fond of is Ombudsman Conchita Carpio Morales, who is set to retire on July 26. Duterte took a swipe at Carpio Morales when asked about the qualities that he's looking for in the next Ombudsman. His comment drew flack and eventually sparked the Babaya Ho movement. Gusto ko yung, yung bilib ang tao na, sa integrity niya. So. Uh, of course, it could not be a politician. Lalo na hindi babae. And if the president held back his tongue against or against Vice President Lenny Robredo in his first year in office, this time around, the fiery official did not step on the brakes with his comments on Robredo. Duterte did not mince words, describing Robredo unfit to lead the country just a few hours after the vice president accepted her role as the head of the opposition. I will not resign because uh, it will make uh, her president. My resignation is addressed to the people na para makapili sila ng gusto nila. Siya, I don't think she can ever be ready to govern a country. Reason, incompetence. Duterte's tirades extended to some leaders of the Catholic Church and the Church as a whole. And one of the most popular cases was that of Australian missionary sister Patricia Fox. President Duterte admitted to ordering the investigation of the nun or into the nun for allegedly criticizing the government. I ordered her to be investigated, not deported at once, not arrested, but to invite her to an investigation for a disorderly conduct. Huwag mong papasokin kasi walang hiya ang bunganga ng madre niya. You do not have that right to criticize her. The president also had priests in his crosshairs. The killings of three members of the clergy in the past six months did not soften what appears to be his hatred towards them. He even shared this theory on why they were murdered. Back in 2015, the president claimed that he was molested by a priest when he was in high school. Kung ikaw, pare, kabitin mo yung so, anak, asawa ng sundalo, kabitin mo yung asawa ng mayor, uh, mamatay ka talaga. Alam mo yung pare, it's no better than me. Yung mga pare dyan, tagdalawa ang asawa. But all these tirades against members of the church dwarf or are dwarfed in comparison to when Duterte took on God. Who is this stupid God? Stupid talaga ito, kung ganun. You created some, something perfect and then you think of a, an event that would tempt and destroy the quality of your work. The president later on met with the head of the Catholic Bishop Confer or Bishops Conference of the Philippines or CBCP and he promised to hold back his criticisms against the church. But just one day after that fateful meeting, he did it again. Duterte broke his own moratorium and started verbally attacking the church. However, after meeting with Jesus' Lord leader, Brother Eddie Villanueva, the president eventually apologized to God. If, uh, if it's the same God, well, I'm sorry. But so it is. Sorry, God. I said, sorry, God. If God is taken in a generic term by everybody listening, then that should be good. And despite his criticisms against the church, the president has also used biblical references to hit his rivals. Case in point, 
President Duterte branded Opposition Senator Antonio Trillanes IV a Judas Iscariot, who was of course an apostle who did betray Jesus. Trillanes, being one of the, of the President's more vocal critics, earlier tagged the President in murder cases and corruption. Duterte used this anecdote in his speech last year to remind new officials not to betray the public. He also said he would tell Trillanes the very same words he claimed Leonardo da Vinci said when he was urging a model to pose as Judas for his famous painting, The Last Supper. Sabi ko kay Trillanes nga, you are not the Judas. But sabi ni da Vinci, you are a model or a face of evil. Sabihin ko na rin, you are a model and a face of evil. <laughs> 